Recently there has been more discoveries of ancient artifacts predating modern humans, clues that prove that other civilizations existed before our modern times, planet Earth has support a life for the past 4,500 million years, modern humans are estimated between 150,000 years to 200,000 years, but before humans, is it possible that other advanced civilizations existed? Ancient civilizations around the world tell stories of a flood that took place 13,000 years ago and how they survived and, they also tell that there had been many civilizations before them and were suddenly destroyed by worldwide catastrophes. In 1944, there was a 10-year-old boy named Newton Anderson, he was feeding the coal furnace at his parents' house. He accidentally dropped a piece of coal on the basement floor and broke it in half revealing that it contained a bell inside. The bituminous coal that was extracted from an underground vein in Upshur County of West Virginia, USA, is dated as the Carboniferous Period, which is supposed to have occurred approximately 300 million years ago. Between 1963 and 1964 a man named Boris Billis took the bell to the Department of Geology at the University of Delaware in Wilmington, where it was studied. They confirmed that the bell had been made by hand. Later Dr. John Morris of the Institute for the Research of Creation analyzed the artifact in the laboratory of the University of Oklahoma, there an analysis of nuclear activation determined that the bell is mainly made of bronze and revealed that it contains an unusual mixture of metals, unlike any production of known modern alloys, including copper, zinc, tin, arsenic, iodine, and selenium. According to Norm Sharbaff's book Ammunition which includes several coal anecdotes the bell is an antediluvian artifact. Investigations have also been made of the demon-shaped figure placed on the bell. Similarities were discovered with Pazuzu, the Babylonian demon of the southwest wind, and with the Hindu deity Garuda. Both the Babylonian demon and the bell figurine have a revealing horn on their heads partially broken in the bell and their narrow faces are strangely similar. Garuda flying weasel god is sometimes depicted on top of bells, much like the Egyptian goddess winged Isis. Several decades have passed and until now no one really knows who made this bell and how it came to be embedded within the coal. Many people speculate that there might have been a civilization that suffered a great cataclysm millions of years ago and one of its bells was buried with a floating mass of plant debris that would later turn into coal and that would eventually end, millions of years later, in Newton Anderson's coal bunker. The discovery of the bell presents a serious problem for evolutionary time scales. The kneeling posture with hands clasped is quite like Garuda representations. Because of this, some have argued that it must be an Indian Ganta bell. But ancient religious worship seems to take on similar forms in various cultures like the Venus figurines from disparate lost cultures and the ancient fascination with pyramids, which doesn't necessitate that they were culturally related. At our request, Mr. Anderson was examined by an expert polygraph specialist to further validate his claims. He passed the test and the report can be seen here. How is it possible to find a bronze bell embedded in the coal that formed before the dinosaurs even evolved? There is no doubt that the best case scenario for a pre-flood artifact would be to have evidence which has been documented in situ by a professional scientist. Lacking that, the mysterious bell found in coal is perhaps the best candidate we have for an antediluvian artifact. The story behind its finding has been related by its discoverer, Newton Anderson, who appears to be a credible witness. 